Hello and welcome everyone back to another video. My name is Jakarta and today we're back with another banger video talking about the one and only winning chain, the chain with the greatest growth potential, the place that you want to be in this upcoming altcoin season. None other, ladies and gentlemen, than Pulse Chain. Welcome back. We're going to be revisiting a project that is called Pulse Bitcoin. What is so bullish about it? Do you know about it? We're going to be explaining it as well. We're going to go through their website, do a nice little overview, and we're going to show you guys absolutely the bullish opportunities that we have here in Pulse Chain. It's such a great time to be in crypto, guys. Of course, with the whole thing with 2025, the Bitcoin halving that literally happens once every four years. You got to make the best out of it. Is Ethereum going to 10,000 X where you can make a Forex? Are you going to be content with that? Okay. Most of us are going to say no, aside from retail investors. We want to make more money. We want to we make that generational wealth the life-changing gains that gets you out of the nine to five, okay? Pulse Chain is a place to be and congratulations for being a winner because you are the first 1% into Pulse Chain. The other 99% of crypto investors and traders are either in Solana being desensitized to pumped up fund that has 10,000 meme coins launching every single week, okay? The people who don't know about Pulse Chain or the people who are ignoring Pulse Chain, laughing about Pulse Chain, calling Richard Hart a scammer, okay? Just wait and see what will happen when the SEC case gets dismissed, etc. Centralized exchanges starts enlisting us again. A lot of things will happen. FOMO, don't catch the bad side of FOMO, okay? I usually say this to my friends as well. Would you rather wait and buy or buy and wait? <laughs> okay, not financial advice. Let's go through with the video. Pulse Chain today is doing absolutely well, you know, sideways action. But of course, once we look into the Pulse Chain itself, you can see it's doing quite well in terms of volume. 24 hour volume is at 29.3 million. I told you guys we're actually starting to, you know, break out of that. Uh, you know, we used to have average 24 hour uh, volume of around like, you know, 10 million, 5 million. And I think definitely right now we are we're kind of starting to uh, trend upwards. So this is a really, really great sign. You can see these days in the past few months, we've been averaging like, you know, you know under two digit millions. Um, and then now we're starting to break the 20 million every single day, hitting 40 million on some days as well. And now we're slowly averaging above 30 million per day, which is really, really, really good. Okay, that's a sign that a lot of people are FOMOing in. Front row seats are not going to be available anymore. Okay, it's time. <laughs> it's time for that next leg up. Okay, so going back to it, a big shout out to uh, Fat Sammy, by the way, he's the person that I made the interview with with Pulse Bitcoin. This was back in 18th of september so let's see the prices where have they gone since then of course i made a interview with him I absolutely urge everyone to watch it he is basically the main representative of pulse bitcoin over here in uh, pulse chain if you guys didn't know pulse bitcoin is actually originally launched in ethereum so let's quickly do a quick double check on how are the price you know comparisons between pulse bitcoin and ethereum and on Pulse Chain, and of course, guys, it has surpassed. Okay, this is past parity point. We have surpassed Ethereum, clearly showing that the market has chosen the value. The deep value is, of course, here in Pulse Chain, guys. Okay, same thing that I like to say about, you know, uh, in terms of Bitcoin and PDI. I look at this WBTC as if it's already a real BTC. That's how I think it will be. Same thing I say about PDI. It will become a $1 pegged stable coin. I do think that the mass plan behind Richard Hart, he's going to add, end up adding the PDI to the stable swap, the curve liquidity, the one that we've seen in PulseX with a recent update. Yeah, he's going to add piece PDI to it, making it a very liquid, a very stable, okay, stable, um, you know, pegged stable coin which is super super bullish and everything links up together because of course once you look into the ratio between one PWBTC to one PDI is around you know I think right now it's around 49,000 so it's almost like we have a mini virtual Bitcoin and a mini obviously virtual uh, stable coin that we have within Pulse Chain it is all native that's what you like to see so it's so cool these narratives are so unique that you won't find these anywhere else and it is very obvious that Richard Hart this is what he wanted all the stuff from the beginning, right? Before he even launched Pulse Chain. 
So it's really great to be super early to this, by the way. So, and of course, as well, big shout out to uh, Fat Sammy as well, because he is a hexagon and I love that about him because he is so bullish in, uh, in hex and P hex. Um, and then, yeah, they're doing, both of them are doing really, really well. P hex on the other side though, guys doing like a 400% in like, you know what I mean? Since when? Like beginning of September, absolutely crazy. There's no dips to be eaten there. No dips straight up. Basically a God candle guys. Okay. This outpaced, you know, making any gains. I mean, look, even when you go back to uh, crypto bubbles, if you go on the week, you can see the greatest, <laughs> it's crazy how the, the sea of lava, the only green thing is literally pulse hex and pulse X is beautiful guys. I'm telling you guys, it is beautiful. There will be FOMO. Okay. Now, Going back to the main topic, by the way, shout out to uh, PWBTC being 270x away from parity of Bitcoin price of 63,000. Absolutely crazy. Going back to the main topic, which is Pulse Bitcoin and ASIC tokens. What are they? What can you do with them? Why are they bullish, etc.? Let us cover that in this video, guys. Shout out to the Pulse Bitcoin community. This is a hidden gem. Imagine, guys, they are both under a million market cap. Don't tell me, don't tell me I haven't warned you guys about the absolute pumpamentals that we're going to see with Pulse B and ASIC. Of course, this is no financial advice. Quick reminder, okay? I'm being entertaining people, educating people, okay? You have to segment your risk. You have to diversify. You have to do your own research, okay? At the end of the day, please do remember that. Only invest with the risk capital. Don't be investing with your rent bills that you need next month. Okay, a lot of what I'm showing you guys today requires you to delay your gratification to make the biggest wins. There's two, th there's only two types of winners, okay, which is 5% of all crypto tra traders and investors are winners. And of that, there's two types of winners. The people who win first and win small or the people who win last and they win big, okay, because they've d been DCAing, they've been hodling through ups and downs, right? So uh, yeah, the first one here we have is ASIC, it stands for Application Specific Internet Coin. 288k market cap, you know, what I mean, decent liquidity as well. So obviously you can as well start providing if you want. You can see the different uh, LPs if you want as well. So let's quickly check that out. Um, you can see that there's, oh yeah, that's quite good actually. Oh, there's a V3. Whoa, there's a V3 in nine inch. Okay, I love V3 uh, liquidity providing guys. So I might actually jump into that. Okay, um, so yeah, you can see not bad amount of liquidity is just around just above 11k now when we compare it with pulse b um, you can see on this side there's i believe two main liquidity pools yeah two main liquidity pools uh, there's also another v3 okay so you can see five plus so around uh, 18 or you know roughly uh give or take 20k uh liquidity which is really really good and of course these are my milestones you can see that i've put yellow lines here right now both of them are around 3.8 cents this one's at five cents holy moly okay now i'll tell you guys what is my strategy now of course with, with pulse bitcoin you can actually mine um pulse b using asic tokens okay so by that nature asic is deflationary okay we'll, we'll show you guys in a second uh you know what part actually contributes to the buy and burn, et cetera, et cetera. And Pulse B, of course, it is like Bitcoin, but guess what? There's a few differences that makes it a more aggressive design of Bitcoin. Okay, we, you can see that we're going to cover that in a second. Now, of course, this will have a 21 million, same thing as Bitcoin, 21 million max cap supply, um, which is really good. That means it will plateau as each happening event happens. Um, now, going to the website, which is pulsebitcoin.win, all the links in the description, and of course, a quick reminder to join their Telegram. So join my Telegram, link in the description, and join their Telegram uh, as well. So be part, of the, be part of the community, be part of the conversation, let them know that, hey, I came from watching this video. Um, what's up? You know what I mean? Shout out to DJ. You know, I want to <laughs> say hi there as well. I'm going to be in that chat as well. Uh, but going back to it, this is the website. Okay, the future of Bitcoin is here. Pulse Bitcoin, the faster, more secure, quicker happening, energy efficient, highly scalable DeFi compatible bitcoin so many great attributes of course guys you already know bitcoin is you know the first ever blockchain being the first doesn't necessarily mean it's the best solution today right there's been a lot of evolution of course we've seen the absolutely 
craziest innovation that we've had, in my opinion, is of course the creation of Ethereum thanks to Vitalik with the, you know, smart contracts, the EVM compatibility, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so, and of course the fact that it's proof of stake, <laughs> right? Um, and the fun fact is that, and I learned this from um, Fat Sam, is that literally um, Bitcoin is not Turing complete. So it's, and of course the fact that it is proof of work, it's very you know, uh, inefficient in my opinion. But of course, I also do believe being a proof of work also means that it's very secure. Okay, but it's an expensive way to have a secure system. Okay, this is why I look at Bitcoin as a, a great uh, store of value, not necessarily a day-to-day -day transaction type of uh, network to use. Okay, but going further, Pulse Bitcoin, okay, it's literally like time winded back and giving you a chance to be in the early days of Bitcoin when it was under a dollar. Guys, under what were you doing in 2009, 2010? What were you doing? I was playing Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I should have been mining different things than blocks. Well, different type of blocks, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, problems and solution. The Bitcoin brand is very well known by much of the world, but many people still refuse to, to adopt it. Why? Bitcoin suffers from the critical problems that prevent it, its continued adoption. Just to name a few, it's slow, expensive to use, requires special equipment to mine it effectively. 100% very expensive equipment, right? There's literally GPUs that basically cost 50K plus. Absolutely crazy. Uh, it's not, and I believe they're actually, st they're also called ASIC. Yeah, they're also called ASIC, yeah. Uh, it's not environmentally sustainable. It has had numerous inflation vulnerabilities. It is not compatible with existing DeFi without the use of middlemen. Yeah, you can't, there's no smart contracts in in uh, the closest thing we had was uh, inscriptions and people some people really dislike it actually um uh, yeah it doesn't it does not scale as well as established evm networks of course so you know evm compatible could be i don't know base chain uh pulse chain obviously is one of them tons of others there's tens and tens layer ones layer two solutions and this goes on the world deserves a better bitcoin and the solution has finally been created pulse bitcoin Pulse Bitcoin offers cheaper transaction, faster transactions, in inclusive mining, a scarce supply, a quicker reward happening cycle. So we're going to be talking about that as well. Now, I'm not going to read all of this. OK, uh, I do urge everyone to do so, of course. Now, let's look at the nice, quick differences. OK, Pulse Bitcoin beats Bitcoin. Here is why. It is faster. So Pulse Bitcoin exists on the Pulse Chain network that operates on three second uh, blocks. That's really good as well. Um, I believe that does need to be updated. I think uh, roughly we are 16% quicker than Ethereum. So uh, yeah, I think that's pre-launch. That's what was estimated. Supply scarcity. So same thing is 21 million. Do not miss out on the opportunity to get in on Pulse Bitcoin. It is designed to be a better, to be better, a better Bitcoin in every way. And this is the main part, which is faster halvenings. Bitcoin mining reward inflation is programmed to have every uh, 210,000 blocks or about every four years. Okay, Pulse Bitcoin's mining reward is also designed to have, but every six to 12 months. That is very rapid. Okay, and then you have inclusive mining. So here where you'll need uh, ASIC, uh, ASIC tokens basically to mine Pulse B, and then it basically does it in intervals of 30 days. So that is it, wait 30 days, and then there you have it. You don't need no special equipment. You can do that from your phone. You can do that from your laptop. Anywhere you can do that when you're half asleep, one eye open, easy peasy. You don't need to keep your phone open. It won't take any of your electricity. It will do that. This is all with smart contracts. You are paying with time, ladies and gentlemen. This is the main key about Pulse Bitcoin and why it is super bullish. You're not paying with electricity, okay? This allows everyone the same opportunity to mine Pulse Bitcoin regardless of hardware or the cost of electricity. Of course, it's DeFi compatible. If you want to swap it into a, into a stable coin on, on Bitcoin, you must use a middleman. Obviously, he's talking about the negatives. I mean, uh, if you want to earn yield on your Bitcoin, you must use a middleman. If you want to swap your Bitcoin for any other crypto, you must use a middleman. Of course, um, you know, referring to centralized exchanges, and we've obviously seen through a lot of examples that Richard Hart shares, et cetera, et cetera, um, that, yeah, centralized exchanges are not really a place to be trusted, guys. Okay, you have to use them as a temporary, like, petrol stop. Okay, nothing more than that. You cannot hold your tokens there. You've seen it, what happened with FTX, Celsius, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, Pulse Bitcoin offers all of those without the use of middlemen. 
okay, we're just interacting with decentralized exchanges. This is the place where I trust because I'm only interacting with code. And of course, the most trustable DEX out there is the native one in Pulse Chain, which is Pulse X. Okay, so shout out to that. Um, so yeah, it is more secure, long history of security vulnerabilities and inflation bugs, etc., etc. We're going to be talking about that in a second. Um, or actually, we're going to be skipping that. A highly scalable, eco-friendly. We love to see this. Now, let's compare the speed of each network. This is, I believe, the updated, and you can see that it's actually 10-second average block time, roughly very, well, quicker than Ethereum, which is a 12-second, and of course, Bitcoin is 10-minute uh, block time. Unfortunately, that is not good. Uh, but yeah, you can see both of them have 21 million. And right here, we have a very good diagram to show you guys how simple it is, yet effective, the design of how this all works so you need to start first of all with asic tokens so to do that you need to buy off the market from the circuit team supply using decentralized exchanges off of the bat that is going to be buy pressure then you deposit that into the contract so obviously there's a front end that we're going to show you guys as well right in here plus bitcoin dot app simple as that and then you will have to do a 30-day lock um, and then once that finishes you'll have a mining fee that is sent to the burn address effectively making ASIC tokens indeed deflationary okay and of course the user now will receive the pulse bitcoin that he has mined with that he will receive the ASIC tokens minus the burnt mining fee ASIC tokens so really really great system I really like that in 30 day intervals so not too long not too short uh, I really like that indeed so as you as you can see since Bitcoin does not require any special uh, mining har hardware it allows anyone in the world to mine new pulse Bitcoin into existence just by acquiring ASIC token and interacting with pulse Bitcoin mining smart contract again just like the early days of Bitcoin anyone can mine Pulse Bitcoin. So two things. Okay, there is a whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Disclaimer. Be aware there is just one single penalty rule that must be followed. So you guys definitely need to watch. Go read that. That is your homework at least. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot of things by the way to read here. Such a beautifully made website. Covers everything in my opinion. And you can see here with the Pulse Bitcoin smart contracts, it is obviously in the application layer. So uh, it is very secure. We really do like that. Um, and then of course, talk about software compent compartmentalization. Uh, Bitcoin has zero code audits. Hmm, that's something I didn't know as well. Plus, Bitcoin smart contract code has been audited by industry leader Certix. So that's really, really good in terms of giving confidence to uh, people like you and I who are interested in being an investor. So obviously, talking about scalability, adoption, all W things, green mining everywhere. That's what we like to see. So tons of things to read, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now going to the app, of course, once you're logged in, connected to your smart contract, you have to choose that you are on uh, Pulse Chain. And then obviously here it talks about the ASIC uh, NFT. I believe those are basically obviously done. The 30 days uh, since the beginning of the project are basically done. So there's nothing here really to redeem. Uh, you have either the option to mine or obviously using the swap. But once we go into the mine, okay, this is where it gets. This is the front end. All you need is to input your miners, your uh, your ASIC tokens, and then it will tell you it'll update in those boxes uh, your uh, potential return, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's what we like. And of course, as you go down, you can see that we are currently in the second uh, Bitcoin happening, and then it tells you if you scroll down here the active miners. So really, really cool. Kind of reminds me of Titan X, by the way. But I really like this. Oh, hold on, is that? Oh, there's dark and light mode. I love dark mode. Uh, but yeah, guys, it is as simple as that. You know what I mean? Super bullish. <laughs> I really like this. I mean, in terms of, don't get me wrong, guys. Now, if you're asking me, what should you do? Mining, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, miners, I think it will be appealing to a certain amount of people who want to make that passive income whilst holding the tokens okay in my opinion what you have to at least hold liquid pulse bitcoin and or asic and of course if you're going to play with some of it in the mining absolutely do that now of course as well one of my main 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 strategies is to buy and hold asic tokens guys the deflationary token by nature okay i need to have as much as possible as ASIC tokens. You can see this is where the video dropped, by the way. So since then, we have done a nice 2.7x. So that's beautiful. So whoever watched that interview, okay, and you realized how bullish it is, you know, this is Fat Simon right there. Shout out to him. Go follow him on his Twitter as well. He has a YouTube channel. Go check that out. 
yeah, you've been making good gains. And as well, same thing from here, guys. Okay, this is with the Pulse B token. How much have you made? A 57% uh, increase. That's not bad at, at all. So these are the milestones. It can definitely go to $1. It can definitely go to $10. Okay, it's a 240x away. This is Bitcoin, guys. Okay, where's Bitcoin today? All right, so $10 in my opinion is, yeah, it is absolutely doable. Same thing with ASIC token on this other hand. I think they're both going to reach the same amount of, you know, uh, milestones in my opinion that I have. You can see even here, I put the uh, Fibonacci retracement. So you can expect at that 70 cents, you might expect this to be a little bit of a resistance before it became, becomes a support layer. So that's a few things to uh, keep in mind. But of course, this doesn't matter if you're not short term price oriented. If you're long term, you can just wait it out. You can just wait it out. You know what I mean? Things go moves up and down in waves. Just wait it out. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to us. Once you delay your gratification, you're not going to be looking at the chart every single day. Okay, at least I hope I, I hope you don't. I do though, unfortunately. <laughs> Even though I'm a long-term holder, I like to do that. Uh, but guys, listen, I'm going to end the video there. Okay, I just wanted to give a reminder to people how bullish Pulse Bitcoin is. Not a lot of people know about it not a lot of people know about it because it is under a million in in market cap guys a lot of pumpamentals okay all thanks to heart's law as well okay heart's law this is why i love being a pulse chain by the way but yeah pulse bitcoin scarcity you know what I mean the abundance think about that ladies and gentlemen uh well the opposite of abundance i mean <laughs> is is what we see what we're gonna see unfold supply and demand simple simple as that I hope you guys enjoyed it. A big shout out, by the way, to the YouTube members who have choos chosen to support my small channel. And of course, to the comments here that we have from my previous video. Great stream, DJ. Thank you. And uh, this guy says, I think PHEX will see the price of $1.50. But if we get $2, my pants will fall down on its own. What do you mean by that? Um, and here, this guy says, remember, market cap is not important towards the price. So pulse price of 20 cents is possible. We are really we all really don't know what can happen indeed that is true we don't know what can happen uh, our ex our expectations etc so uh yeah i'm i'm super excited okay 20 cent pulse native coin price that's absolutely crazy okay let's see what do you think guys how bullish are you what do you think of this project i truly do think this is a beautiful 500x project um but we'll see time will tell you know what i mean 500x is such a big big number that a lot of you guys will actually not believe me when i say this but once i say oh it's a 240x a lot of you guys will think it's more uh, realistic etc 24x of course i think you know one dollar is one of the first milestones but it's just crazy how things work okay if i say if i throw out the 500x a lot of people you know they won't believe that they want to wait until they see the green candles happen then they'll be like, oh okay now i want to jump on it it's the fomo guys things like that happens unfortunately now, of course being early sometimes comes with a high risk absolutely no doubt but um yeah it is what it is. You know I mean, you just have to, you have different levels of risk and you different rel levels of tolerance of risk as well. And uh, yeah, anyways, diversify. Do remember that. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. This is just another bullish project here in Pulse Chain. I'm going to end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Share this video with Crypto Bros. Subscribe for more videos. Put on the notification bells. Join my Telegram. Um, and as well, give me a follow on my Twitter. All in the description. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.